What is up geeks? Welcome back to the Geek Man Cave and guys, brand new information, breaking news. Star Wars Celebration Chicago 2019 just dropped the Star Wars Episode 9 teaser. Guys, my hype levels were up here because like we got Avengers Endgame in like two weeks and we've got Game of Thrones in like two days and now we've got this at Christmas. I think 2019, I will not have anything left to give. I think I need a year off being a geek in 2020. This year just gets better and better and this trailer does not disappoint, guys. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna look through each part of the, the trailer, talk about anything we may have missed the first time we watched it and just break it down together and see if there's any new information we can grab from it. So guys, I'm going to go big screen for this. I'm not going to play the trailer because I don't want to get any copyright strikes, but I'm going to talk about what happens in each part of the trailer. So at the beginning of the trailer, guys, we see the Lucasfilm Limited logo, and all you can hear is a woman breathing deeply. We can guess that it's Rey who's heavily breathing, just like with The Last Jedi um, teaser trailer. That had a similar approach. It had some like eerie music at the beginning, and then we saw Ray heavily breathing. She put her hands on the rock. She was training with Luke. This is very, very similar. So all we can see, all we can hear is Ray breathing, and then it opens up to Ray. So we see Ray in her traditional Jakku clothes that we're used to wearing. Um, she's more desert ready here, and you can see she's in this deserty background. This makes you think: Is she on Jakku? Is she on Tatooine or is she somewhere new? Now, all we can really tell from this part of the trailer is she's heavily breathing. She's anticipating something coming. But the interesting part of this is this, her lightsaber. As you can see, the top part of this hilt is similar to the one that we have known of, Luke's and Anakin's lightsaber. We know that it broke at the end of The Last Jedi. Here it is again. The first time I watched this, I didn't really pick up on it. I thought, oh, maybe this is kind of like a, a kind of vision like they did with The Last Jedi kind of thing but it's not if you look in detail here the bottom part of the hilt here is completely different to anything we've ever seen um from this graphlex as you can see she's altered it she's made it her own the style is very similar but this middle section is definitely different so ray has fixed luke's previous lightsaber it is now ray's lightsaber and she's kind of put her own twist on it i really like that they did that so as she's standing here in the desert heavily breathing we hear mark hamill's voiceover luke skywalker saying we have passed everything we can on to you, meaning the Jedi have given you everything that we can. Almost like your training is complete kind of a set. But just like when Luke's training was complete, he had one final thing to do. He had to confront his father, Darth Vader. It seems Rey may have to confront a bigger evil, but we'll get to that soon. So as Luke's talking this voiceover, we kind of hear faintly in the background a ship of some sort incoming. Ray seems very, very concerned. She knows something's coming. She's bracing for it. And what she does now is go for her weapon. As we can see here, if I go down here, you can see, again, this is where the lightsaber was broke. You can see she's refixed the hilt. So we're going to obviously get a brand new lightsaber. Hopefully we get a nice new um, FX version of this. I can review on the channel. She draws her lightsaber and she's ready to face what's on coming. So you can see a much better scene here. You can see open scenes. There's no civilization. She is in the middle of nowhere. But all we can see in the background is this tiny little ship, this enemy TIE fighter or a TIE silencer incoming for Rey. As she draws her lightsaber, we get to see an up close version of the lightsaber here. What I absolutely love about this, guys, is you can see the full lightsaber in grip here. You can see the middle section is, like we said earlier, is changed. But what I love about this, this imagery and, and the look of this is that she's holding Luke's lightsaber here, ready to go. And the fact that this is in shot as well, this is the gun that Han Solo gave her. So she is now holding the weapon that Luke Skywalker had and the weapon that Han Solo had. I love that kind of imagery here. She's ready to face down what is coming. And we find out then that something is definitely incoming for her. Every generation has a legend. And when we come back, guys, you can see it's panning over the desert and we can see that ship incoming. It goes so fast, I may not be able to catch it as it flies by. See if I can catch it. Just dust that goes past. As it's coming even closer, Ray readies herself by igniting her lightsaber. We get confirmation that it is a blue crystal, so she's continuing with the blue look, and she prepares herself for what's coming. I love this. She turns her back to it, faces the camera, she's ready to attack. The next thing we see is these gloves in the ship that's obviously heading for her. These look like Kylo Ren's gloves and we get a bit more confirmation 
up by here because when the ship draws closer she looks she's ready to jump as she jumps we get a much better look at this ship so as it comes in here she runs forward and does this very epic backflip now as we can see here it's got some red extras on here but for me if we look at this this looks exactly like kylo ren's tie silencer like the one he used when he attacked the ship on the last jedi but you can see it's been kitted out here with some nice new red attachments here for me though i think this is kylo and she does this phenomenal backflip and she looks like she's gonna cut the the ship in half and it cuts to this christmas guys i'm so excited for this film it's insane so guys onto the next shot we get a second planet it's at night very very reminiscent of rogue one it kind of feels like that and we get this small spaceship flying down to this civilization here seems a very big city you can see lots of things going on here it's a very rocky terrain but it seems to be a very big city you've got this tower here and this tower here this is probably a brand new planet the next scene, I love the use of red. It's very reminiscent of the dark side and colours have always been a thing, especially with The Last Jedi as well. And here we have Kylo Ren without his mask, with his lightsaber, going on an absolute rampage through this forest, cutting down these people. They seem to be holding like, like axe kind of weapons. If you kind of zoom in here, it's almost like a little axe kind of weapon and as you can see here this entire place this entire forest i can't tell if this is ash or snow is completely burning down the first order are on a rampage you can see there's a first order stormtrooper here and kylo is leaving no prisoners he is cutting them down now if we do go back a tiny little bit to catch his face it does look like he's got his scar so this isn't a flashback this is now you can see it here so he's got his scar. Now, one of the things I was really excited about in this trailer is this next part. The next part, you see some sort of mechanical machines kind of fixing something. What can it be? And it is, of course, Kylo Ren's helmet. I am so happy that this is making a comeback. I'm a big fan of the helmet. I love Kylo with his helmet. And it's kind of reasserting himself as Kylo Ren. The next image we see, guys, is of our other protagonist. It is, of course, Finn. And Finn here is wearing a nice jacket. He's got a new hairstyle. He's holding Ray's staff as well, which is really interesting. He's got Ray's staff here. And we've got Poe at the back looking like he's just come out of the Uncharted game. Again, they seem to be on the similar planet that Ray was on. It looks like this very desert, deserted kind of island. This kind of planet, almost like Jakku or maybe um, Tatooine. And then we get a glimpse of the newly announced droid. So we've got BB-8 here, and this was the new droid that was announced at S Star Wars Celebration. Dio, D-I-O, I think Dio they pronounced it. Um, they showed some artwork um, on the stream um, of this kind of bobbing head, almost like chicken, you know, like the little bobbing chicken head you get that goes in water, the little bird's head. It's kind of that kind of thing, but I love this whole wheel. I hope he has a really great character. I really want to build him because he seems a smaller droid, so I may even do a custom build before the merchandise comes out. So I'm happy they're introducing a new droid. I did predict that we were going to get a female BB-8. Maybe this droid is female. Who knows? Let's find out. And the next image, guys, just warms my heart. It is the Falcon, guys. So you can see they're going through hyperspace. We've got Chewie here. And who's this in the front seat with Chewie? It is, of course, Lando Calrissian, guys. Loving life. I love the fact that he's in his... His, his, his typical uniform that he wore in, La in Return of the Jedi is Lando. He's loving it. Look how exciting he is to be back in the Falcon. It's great to see the Falcon as well flying through hyperspace. So excited for this, guys. The saga comes to an end. The next part then, we're back on that planet. Now, for me, this looks exactly like one of the... Um, ships that was part of the barrage on the uh, the return of the jedi when they were on jabba's barge it looks like one of the barge ships here and it's being attacked you know, you've got these weird kind of pylons here sticking out of the ground and if you can see here we've got what looks like a speeder a, a first order trooper on a speeder now when i first saw this guys i thought that there were speeders jumping through here like going quite high but if you look quite closely these are troopers with backpacks if you have a little look here you can see they're flying 
with their backpacks. If I can't play this a little bit. Can you see their backpacks? They've got their guns here. They've almost got a hood, kind of hood thing going on. It almost looks like the um, villain from Ant-Man and Wasp. So you can see they're jumping through. They look first order. They're attacking the barge and we see who's on the barge. We've got C-3PO, we got Poe and we got Finn. Again, it looks like the barge from Return of the Jedi. They seem to be trying to escape from something, from a place maybe. This then cuts to a ship being shot down. It looks very similar to one of the ships that was landing on the planet uh, we saw previously. And then we see this. The medal that was given to Luke and Han at the end of A New Hope after the Battle of Yavin and the destruction of the first Death Star. These medals were given to Luke and Han. And this seems to be Leia looking at that medal remembering Luke and Han and and closing this off and then we get this incredibly beautiful scene of Princess Leia holding Rey. Guys this looks absolutely incredible. This is the part that got me when I watched the trailer that's when the tears came. It's so lovely that they're using they're not got a different actress in they're not CGI in they're using clips from the previous footage I just it's just amazing to see her on screen it really does and you can see and there's a great voice over here I'm gonna play her if I get the strikes and it's copyright it's copyright but I need to listen to her we'll always be with you that is such a touching moment and then after all this you think oh wow this is insane we get this part guys so we can see we've got what looks like we got Ray we got we got uh, Poe, we got Finn, 3PO, we've got Chewie, we've got BB-8 and uh, Dio. I think I'm saying that right. Dio, Dio, Dio. I think it's Dio. Uh, on this kind of marshy kind of wetland kind of um, planet. And then we see what they're looking at. They are looking at the sea. Now, guys, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, they've gone to Skellig. They're on Skellig Island. Something's attacked Skellig. Or maybe this is an island that's been blasted by something. But then when you look at it like this, you realize what this is. And when you see this and you look at what comes at, listen to what comes at the end, that is the Death Star. You can see this is the ring for the Death Star. I didn't see this the first time I, I, I looked through it, guys. It is the remains of the Death Star. So this makes you think, is this in the system of Endor? Is this part of the first, is this the, this is, has to be, well, it has to be, doesn't it? The second Death Star. Uh, so this is maybe a planet alongside uh, Endor. What I love here as well is Rey has this cloak on with a Jedi style hood. Oh, I cannot wait to see her in this. She's carrying this kind of white bag. There has to be a reason why they're going here. And guys, for me, the only thing we get left after this scene, and for me, this here is as iconic as seeing when we first saw The Force Awakens and we see the Star Destroyer in the sand. It's that kind of imagery. I am just so excited to find out what happens in the film. So, kind of, you're thinking, why are they going to the Death Star? Why would they want to go to the remains of the Death Star? And then, guys, we hear this. The very last thing we hear from this trailer. <laughs> Darth Sidious Palpatine, the Emperor, laughing in the background. What does that mean, geeks? What's going on? Is he alive? Is Palpatine alive? Has he been playing a game since Return of the Jedi? Has this been part of his plan the entire time? Was Snoke a puppet in all this? Why would they want to go to that deserted, crashed Death Star? Is there something there that they need to get in order to win, the, to end the war? What is happening? I can't process this. And then, guys, we see the title for the brand new Star Wars film. Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Guys, what does this mean? Does this mean there's... A Skywalker that's going to rise? Does that mean a fallen Skywalker is going to come back? Are we going to see Anakin? Are we going to see Luke come back? Does it mean we're going to see some sort of new Skywalker rise? Is there maybe an offspring we don't know about? Are they going to slam us with Rey as actually a Skywalker? 
Is it talking about the past and the rise of Skywalker? It's such an interesting title. There's so much we can take from this. Guys, I do not know what this means. It's just insane. Guys, that's all we've got. Like I said, December. This year is... I've never known a year to have this much hype for films. To be a geek in 2019 is a dream, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If there's anything in this video breakdown that you may have seen that I haven't, please, please, please... Comment in the comment section down below. I cannot express how excited I am, guys. If you're just as excited for this as well, I'm going to be doing a lot more Star Wars videos upcoming after Avengers Endgame. And if you're excited for Avengers Endgame, guys, don't forget to check out my other videos because I'm doing a two-week non-stop 14 videos in 14 days looking at the MCU, building props, reviewing products, hyping ourselves for Endgame. And then, guys, I think I'm going to have to do a Star Wars one, a huge Star Wars celebration in December, all of December, maybe a whole month of content dedicated to Star Wars. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe for weekly content on the Geek Man Cave. And guys, remember, it's your cave, your rules, and may the Force be with you always.